Hey everyone, Nick Eilerman here. Getting ready to sell my Breville Barista Express 870 XL. And I um, want to just do this quick video before I sold it. I put it on eBay. So if you guys want to buy it, you can go click on the link in the description below and you can buy it from me if it hasn't already sold. But yeah, I just want to do a quick video showing you everything that is included in it. Uh, and there's some bonus stuff that I'm going to throw in there uh, for the sale. But at the same time, I'm gonna kind of go through uh, what everything is, uh, what you get with it if you guys are looking to buy um, one of these Barista Express um, 870s. Um, there's some new models out, but I bought this one and I've had it for almost four years. It's flawless. Um, Breville has a great customer service program where you can actually pay a small fee and whenever you want the machine you know, refurbished, cleaned out, um, you just send it in and whatever is uh, needs replacement or you know be refer being refurbished um, they'll do whatever it takes and it actually doesn't go over a certain limit so whatever that uh, small fee that you pay is um, it'll fix everything and then actually um, it's such a good program that if there's something they can't fix so say um, you know your motor went out or your pump or uh, I'm trying to think what switch is, whatever. If there's something they actually can't replace, they will actually, um, with this program, they'll actually replace the whole machine and they'll just send you another one, uh, which is pretty incredible. Uh, so I sent mine in to get it refurbished um, about a year ago and I got my old machine back, which is pretty cool. But uh, awesome customer service program, excellent espresso machine. And um, hate to let it go, but I want to upgrade, um, get something newer. Um, but this one has been amazing. It's in great condition. And I just wanted to quickly go through um, everything that comes with it. All right, guys. So when you first get the Breville Barista Express, um, you're going to have your um, espresso machine. So this is a single, single boiler unit. Um, what that means is there's not... Uh, a normal, you know, professional espresso machine um, in a shop or coffee shop. It's going to have two boilers. Um, it could have more depending on the size of the machine. And essentially one is used to keep and maintain the temperature for pulling the espresso shot. And then the other one would be for hot water uh, and or steam. So this one has a single, single boiler, um, which is not a problem because all you're going to do is turn the machine on. Uh, so when you turn the machine on, it's gonna go ahead and uh, prime itself. You know, take the water and make sure everything is, uh, uh, it's gonna start the pressurization process and it's going to start heating the water up. So once it's he heated the water up, you'll notice that this light will actually stay on consistently. That is how you know that it's, it's up to temperature. The switch over here on the right, you're gonna have two modes. So one is gonna be for hot water. So say you pull a shot and you're doing an Americano. So you do, you know, pull your coffee shot and then you turn the hot water on and um, that is gonna give you uh, hot water to make your Americano. If you wanted to do a latte or a cappuccino, you can actually turn this and it's gonna be the, uh, it'll turn the steam on. And so it's basically changing the temperature in the boiler from a temperature of brewing coffee or the espresso to uh, increasing it for steam. So when you get done steaming or frothing your milk, then you will, you will need to return this back so that it can cool down. It'll go ahead and auto purge into the uh, drip tray and then it'll be ready to go again to uh, pull your other shot. So that's a little bit about, you know, it's starting up. As you can see, all the lights are solid, so it is up to temperature. Um, this part does get warm, so if you do have a, you know, espresso cup or um, you know, any type of glass, a uh, coffee cup, you can put it up here and it will warm it up. Um, it's not meant for warming, but the residual heat from the uh, boiler actually keeps this nice and warm. So that's something nice. Um, so we turn the machine on, it's up to temperature. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here 
and then the top is going to be where your coffee grounds go. So this is a hopper and it's going to grind your beans. And on the right, left hand side here, uh, this is where you can actually increase or decrease the uh, coarseness uh, or fineness of the coffee grounds. So every single cup of coffee you make, um, let me reverse that, any type of coffee that you get, so whole bean coffee that's roasted, is going to act differently um, every time that you grind it. So if you get a local brand, um, or you get Starbucks whole bean, or you get uh, you know some independent coffee shops roast, each one of those roasts are going to act differently, and you'll need to adjust accordingly to the the grind size. Um, if you're kind of beginner. Think of the grind size as when you grind it, you kind of want it to feel like um, you know, sand initially. You don't want it to be such a fine powder that when you actually go to pull your shot, it clogs up your pour to filter. So over here on, on the right hand side, this, this is your pour to filter. So a pour to filter is what you're actually gonna put your filter baskets in. So. This machine comes with four filter baskets. It has one for uh, one shot. And this is also one shot. And then the second two, this is two shots. They're a little wet because I've been cleaning them out. Uh, so for your single shot, you're gonna have two different types of baskets. You're gonna have one that is these, uh, they're called dual wall baskets and it's kind of meant for a beginner, so somebody that doesn't know how to, you know, perfectly set the grind size or um, the time and how much you know the grinds fill up or topping it off or this, that, and the other. This will help you. Um, it's kind of like a cheater basket. It's going to have this. It has one. This one little hole in here, and the coffee actually comes out of that one very, very. I don't know if you can actually see that. So There's a very small hole right there. That's where the, fit, the coffee actually comes out. So this is actually two pieces of metal sandwiched together and it'll help better regulate the, uh, the, shot, the shot pool of coffee that's gonna come out of here. And it kind of helps you. That way, you know, it's gonna make a decent tasting espresso shot. Okay, so the, uh, the filter baskets that we have down here, um, what I was saying earlier is that this is for a single shot and this is for a double shot. So for the single shot, you're going to have, um, this is just enough to put one shot of coffee. And then the second one is going to be uh, the one that does not have dual wall. And all that means is that you're going to have to be more precise on your grind setting, the amount of time the grinder actually grinds it, and uh, your pressure when you actually go to, go to tamp your coffee. So these are the best, you get uh, four of these. So two are dual wall and then two are just your regular one. Nine times out of 10, I just use the double shot basket. Um, I get comfortable with it, know how much pressure I need to put on it. And you're gonna take your porta filter and you're gonna put that in to your porta filter. So it's gonna snap in just like that. And then you take your porta filter and you're gonna put it right in here. And what's nice is, uh, we'll go ahead and put the lid back on. But the, uh, we have one of my dogs drinking water. Sounds crazy. Anyway, um, the porta filter over here on the left, when you go to push it in, it's gonna start grinding the beans. So once you have the beans in here, you got the grind size, you got your porta filter, uh, and then you have your timer. The timer is it's how long it's gonna continue grinding. So what you wanna do is set this depending on you know, how coarse you're finding you grind your coffee and how full you want this basket. So if we go in here, go ahead and grind some coffee. And you're gonna see the lights blinking for double. So you have a single shot over here or a double shot. And all this is doing is toggling between the time. So single is obviously whatever time you set and then double is double the time of this. So when you pull it out, you actually see that it's you know, 
It's grinded your coffee. And then you can do, um, you know, however you'd like to actually, you know, even this out. Um, what I like to do is just bump it on the table one time, and then I just kind of evenly distribute the grounds. Uh, I'm not doing this for real right now because I'm not gonna make it some coffee in front of you guys, but um, essentially you're gonna take your porta filter and then your tamper and you wanna tamp it. And then once you've actually tamped your grinds, it's gonna look like that. And in this kit, it's kind of like, you know, half beginner, half, you know what you're doing type of machine. So this is uh, your precision uh, machined, I don't know, it's kind of cheesy. They call it the razor. It's a precision dose trimming tool. So essentially you put this in here, spin it around, and it's going to level your grinds and kind of give you a place to know where to start from when you're making the coffee. So that is how you do that. That's how you tamp it. If you want to know if you're doing this right, you put this in here. Obviously, I'm not worried about this one because this is just for show purposes, but you need a little bit more coffee. So you need this to run a little bit longer because this is not enough. All right. So that's how you put this in uh, your portafilter baskets in here. So once you're done with that, everything's ready to go. The temperature's warmed up. We've ground our beans. We've, we've uh, got our settings right. We've used our tamping tool, which is really nice. It kind of magnetizes right in there. Uh, once you're done with all of that, you're going to take your portafilter and you're going to lock it in to uh, uh, the holder. So put your basket right here. Lock it in. And... Don't be too aggressive, you know, don't push it all the way to the side. It just needs to be nice and even. And once you're done, you can go ahead and pull your shot. So what you want to do is this is a double basket. You know, we put that much coffee in there, so we're going to use the double shot. And then you just hit this button and it will automatically do a double shot for you. Um, and then once the shot is pulled, you can take your cup, put it up here so it stays nice and warm while you froth your coffee. And I'll tell you guys about that next. Okay, so we just got uh, the shot done. Um, I had to pause the video. I'm trying to think where I was left off. Okay, we pulled our shot. We talked about our cups, talked about the power, the beans. Um, let's talk about some other stuff that is with this whole setup. Um, all kinds of stuff here. So when I went and got the machine uh, refurbished, there's like a little switch in there that I got replaced. Um, you take everything apart, by the way, when you send it to them, and then they send you just the main machine back. So they, uh, I took this out because I thought that we didn't need it. But um, So now I have two of these. So this is actually part of the burr grinder. So this, if you take this off, if you twist this, Push this at the very top, and what's that, what that's going to do is lock the beans so they don't fall out when you lift this up. And what you can do is uh, take a vacuum cleaner, and obviously don't let the nozzle touch any of these parts. But what I usually do is cover it with my hand and just put it around here, and it'll suck all the beans and uh, uh, grinds out so you can clean it. Once you've cleaned it, uh, this is what actually twists and pops out, and then you can actually take this. And they have a brush, and you can take this brush, and you can actually get all the uh, the grinds out, kind of clean it up. This is really good to do if you're changing coffee. So, say you went from like dark roast to light roast, or you had some old beans in here, and then you know, like I do, these are old. That's why I'm not doing a normal coffee shot for you guys. But um, these are old beans, just for an example. So, if I needed to take these out, I'd do that same thing. I would lock it, pull the beans out, scoop them up with my hand, vacuum it out to get it all clean. I would take this uh, one of the burr grinder disc out, clean it, put everything back together, snap it, close it. And uh, the second thing I would do is actually take uh, the porta filter out. And then you can also take this brush and clean underneath this. Uh, I think this is called the group head I'm not sure there's all kinds of different words for parts on an espresso machine uh, so you clean this out 
and there's a screen underneath here. Um, I usually clean this out with a paper towel and this brush, but what you can also do is they it comes with this Allen key. You can actually take the Allen bolt out of here and uh, actually pull the screen out and then really clean up inside there. Um, and then you can actually, you know, do one or two shot and it'll actually rinse it out with some hot water. So that's one way I clean it. Uh, so that's what this brush is for. And then let's see what's next. It comes with this, uh, oh, actually let's go over here. So this plastic piece right here, this is actually, oh, I'm just gonna wait, hold on. So this part, let me dry this off. This is a little uh, rubber disc. This disc is to help it uh, recycle the water inside and clean the machine. So what I do is I take the single filter basket right here, I take the single filter basket and I put this into the single filter basket just like that. And then Breville makes these uh, cleaning discs. So it's like a little tablet, almost looks like a little Alka-Seltzer tablet. You put it in here. Let's take this out. Okay, you take the basket out of your porta filter. You take your single basket with this, pop it in. And then this goes in here. So you put the tablet in there, the cleaning tablet. Put this in here and then you gotta go to your instruction book, and then you go all the way to the very back. Care and cleaning, and it's gonna tell you exactly how to uh, you know, do the purge, clean, cycle, all that good stuff. It also will show you how to descale the machine. Um, so that's all located in this manual. This manual will come with the machine when you get it. What else do we have left over here? Um, so we turn the machine on, it got warm, we got our green, uh, grinds over here, we got our settings, we tamped it, we put the porta filter in, we pulled our shot, our coffee is up here, um, you know, staying nice and warm. Um, so the next thing we want to do, say we're making a latte, uh, we have our steam wand. And so the steam wand, it moves around, it's really nice. So the steam wand, you're going to want to put it down right here, and when you turn it on, to do steam, see these lights start blinking? So what it's doing is it's actually heating the water up. So it's not hot enough yet to do steam. Um, so once it gets up to temperature, this will actually start spraying out a little bit of water and then the water will start to gradually turn into steam. And then when it's actually a, a steady stream of steam, you know you're ready to go. You can actually back this valve off for just a couple seconds while you grab this, uh, pour your milk in, and then you can turn it, put it in here, turn it back on, and start foaming your milk. Uh, so when you start foaming, texturizing your milk, um, it's probably the hardest part of making an espresso because texturing the milk is kind of the art of, you know, making a latte. Um, because if you want to do latte art, texturizing the milk is what makes that happen. If the milk is too foamy, which means you put too much air into it, then it's not going to work. It's just going to look like you made a humongous cappuccino. Um, if you didn't introduce enough air, it's just going to be kind of like a really runny, uh, you know, just pretty much hot milk. <laughs> It's not going to be, it's not going to have any texture to where you can, uh, you know, make any latte art or anything like that with it. So that's probably the hardest thing to do. I mean, I've done this for, I don't know, a couple of years and I still don't have it down. I mean, I can make like a heart or something like that, but that's pretty much the extent to it. Um, so that takes a lot of practice, but regardless, this machine uh, steams milk very well. Uh, so that's what this is. This is the milk frother uh, pitcher that you will get with it. So that thing is really nice. Um, there is this little scoop for coffee beans. 
I don't know who would actually use this because you can just pour it in here. Um, I will include uh, these two glasses, these two shot glasses. Uh, this is for practice. So you can put this here and so that you're not always messing up like your coffee cups. So you can just use this to kind of start practicing and looking at how you're making your uh, espresso shot. You're gonna get these two. And uh, let's see here. Next we have, uh, this is the most important when texturizing your milk, uh, from foaming your milk, is temperature. Um, I always go for 140 degrees, but let's get that on focus. Focus. There we go. I always go for about 140 degrees. Uh, you can kind of go up to 150, 160. I think it's too hot. Um, I don't know how Starbucks does not burn their milk because I never can drink a Starbucks latte without waiting half an hour to drink it. Um, but this is just to make sure while you're, if you're a beginner or, or whatnot, you can actually monitor how hot your milk is getting. Cause you don't want to, you can burn milk with steam. Um, and you don't want to do that because once you pour it into your coffee, uh, or your espresso shot, um, it's already too late. You got to do the whole thing over again. So this, uh, thermometer will come with it. So what I do I use this little jacket here to protect it. This end, it's, it's kind of blunt, but it's also, I mean, it's pretty sharp. Uh, but what I do is I just do this and I take my thumb and I just kind of hold it like that. And then I put it in here and then go ahead and turn it on and start steaming the milk. And then once I'm done, you know, I can pour milk into the espresso shot. Um, so we've pretty much gone through everything. Uh, last but not least, you have this little tray. This is all still dirty for me. I mean, uh, wet for me cleaning it. Um, but this tr this tray, uh, this is it's pretty cool how they set this up. So all of your filter baskets. Okay, I'm gonna dump this one out. Oh, by the way, you're gonna get this knock box over here to do your. Uh, your coffee grounds uh, over here. So once we get all that in there, um, you can put your Allen key. You can also put your uh, the razor, the uh, tamping trimming tool. You can fit your I don't think that fits. Okay, we're gonna leave this out. I never use this, but it came with it, so it'll be in the cell. And then you get your brush. Uh, I can fit my spare um, burr grinding head in there. And let's see here. Oh, by the way, this uh, came from Breville, and they're just uh, this is what came with the machine to let us know that uh, it was taken care of and went through their I don't know, inspection process or whatever. Uh, when I got it back from. Uh, the uh, where they where they fix the switch. It says, "Thank you for allowing us to service your espresso machine. All parts and components are fully functional and working to specification." And it's got a little number to call, uh, so they give this to you when your machine has been kind of refurbished. All right. Uh, let's see. Last but not least, put these glasses over here. Okay, so this is cool. So this tray, this is your purge tray. Uh, so let me sit this down. So this tray, if you do not have this tray in here when the machine is on, steaming, pulling a shot, uh, water is going to go all over your countertop. Uh, so in here, there's there's two holes back here. And this is for when it it is changing the temperature and starting up. Uh, this is where it purges um, uh, the system. So if you're going from steam to normal brewing temperature, it's gonna purge all that steam and higher temperature hot water in here, let it cool down, bring the cooler water from the reservoir back in, and then you know, you'll be ready. But 
where all the water goes is in here. So this is a uh, two part system. So you got your tray. The tray has the two holes for where the shot will go if your cup was not in there. And then it has the steam wand hole. Um, so then you have this, I haven't actually cleaned this out. Um, and this is where it'll take the grinds and kind of separate them from the water. And you'll need to clean this, you know, or rinse it out pretty much every other time that you do some uh, pull an espresso. Once you take this off, then you come down to the actual reservoir. So this is where all the water will be held. And when it gets too full, this little thing comes up. It's kind of funny, it says empty me. So that's what that is. So you wanna always kind of drain this out, uh, make sure it doesn't get too full. But that little empty me thing will come up. Um, and what's cool is it actually, if you keep watching, it will actually float. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. So it'll actually float up like that. See? It'll float up when it gets too full. And then once you drain the water out, it'll just it'll go right back down. Um, so make sure you always rinse and clean this out. But before, here, here's the cool thing. Before you put this back in, you take this tray and you slide it in there. And then this tray pushes that all the way to the back. So when you pull it open, it actually will pull that tray forward. You can get whatever you need out of it. And then you can actually just move it right back in. And um, let's see what else I have. Okay, this mat, this is a tamping mat. That's also coming with a cell if you guys um, want to purchase this machine from me. Uh, so on all, all, everything that you saw in this video is going to be coming with a cell of this machine. Uh, let's quickly go through it to get the machine. Um, frothing pitcher, thermometer, uh, the porta filter with the four baskets. You're going to have the integrated tamping tool. Uh, two shot glasses to kind of do your practice. A um, little coffee scooper. Um, this is the card I got from when it was refurbished. The owner's manual. And you're gonna get this really awesome knock box from Solus. I guess that's what it is. Uh, I don't know, it's been really good. It's got uh, rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't move, shake around. Uh, but that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I've got a lot of other cool videos and um, whether it's films or reviews and tutorials. So check that out on the YouTube channel. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.